It is Chris Thompson here with Just Add Water. I am with my little man, Elijah. We are in Ankeny, Iowa. We are actually visiting a client. We remodeled their pond two years ago, 2019, I believe. Uh, they had a homemade DIY type pond. When they moved in this house, they uh, inherited the pond, lived with it for a while, and then we came in completely tore it out and rebuilt it. So we're gonna check on how it's looking out here two years later. Join us as we head to the backyard. Look at this. Right when you come around the corner, boom, there it is. Living area, the deck they got right up over the side. Got a patio down below. What do you think, Elijah? Beautiful, you love it. Is that what you said? Yes. This is awesome. So I am out here with Tammy. She is our pond owner, and she was actually just starting to tell me about her, the pond itself, about the uh, maintenance and the water quality. So, so our previous pond didn't have, um, just had filters, kind of on the north side. And when this was put in, we had the auto doser, and it's just a lifesaver. It's I don't have any string algae. I have, it's it's a perfect balanced pond right now. And we put in, what did you say, this ionized? Oh, the ion gin for yep. string algae? Yep, and I uh, just had that put in the spring. Um, there's no algae in here whatsoever. The fish are happy. Uh, I don't spend two minutes and most of that's really just kind of taking some uh, water lilies and stuff, some dead stuff out. There's, there's no maintenance like I used to have at all and uh, I couldn't be happier. So we have, I know we have some video of the old pond, but the old pond had a, was it a pressure filter? It was like a can filter? Yeah, the, yeah, a little. Uh, it was like in a tr big pit. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was a, called a trash can filter. So essentially it, it would just uh, have this huge um, pump that would pull it towards the north and it would circulate it through the waterfall and it was, and it would, no rocks, it was just a black liner. Uh, the sun would just beat it to death and it would add algae blooms you know in like two days after cleaning that i'd vacuum it every day probably not the right thing to do but you know i learned a lot with this new pond and, and from chris just educating us on the eco balance and all of that and yeah it's so, phenomenal I, I i don't even use i used to vacuum it like i said and i mean that thing's just you know collecting dust right now so your old pond what would you say you spent how many how many how much time a week would you take care of on oh, average almost probably eight hours i mean eight hours a week weekends yeah i mean it, it at least a half an hour or so every night and then on the weekends a lot more and i mean it just really was not ideal and, and and the more we learned and you know the more plants we put in and just and had it redesigned with the rocks and so with this what do you what's your time a week you think you take uh, really maybe 30 minutes a week i mean and it's just about the plants it's really and maybe leaves you know in the fall and such but nothing nothing uh, with the water maybe changing the auto doser you know it takes all two seconds and okay you know, every month so i know the answer is sort of this but when we first started talking were you i don't want to say not trusting skeptical skeptical, I was skeptical. skeptical. very skeptical <laughs> so what did you i mean you you came on our pond tour. Yep, yeah. What else was, did we do? I'm trying to remember everything. Opening. I had Chris out here half a dozen times, uh, I swear. And I just, it's hard for me to visualize. Uh, I, I, we put a lot of trust into uh, Chris and Will and the team on taking our thoughts and ideas and concepts and, and making it work. And it's beyond what we could have dreamed of. It really is. It's beautiful. Uh, it's, it's, it's two years, right? It's been a yes, year. Yep, yep. Two years this October, actually. It's, it's still so it's not quite two years. years. Yeah. So, uh, but the pond tour, you know, just um, priceless, as you, as you might say. And we took ideas from a variety of different places. Plus, from our previous pond, we didn't want to move the waterfall, even though more ideal, it we should have been up by the house just because of the flow. Oh, it, I'll talk about that a little bit. <laughs> We've got jets over there. There's a whole bunch of stuff to make this thing yeah, work right. Yeah. So obviously you're very thrilled with what you got beyond beyond thrilled you okay see, so i know you is. i know <laughs> you spent a, a nice chunk of money on it so it was money it was, well spent yeah i mean we live outside uh as the weather lets us we sit out here all the time it's our own little you know private paradise and um 
and just the sounds and the nature that it brings. Uh, we get ducks, we get herons, unfortunately. <laughs> we have about 40 fish in there that just are loving it. Uh, dragonflies galore, the plants are phenomenal and, and just thriving, so couldn't ask for anything more. All right, I'm up here at the Bio Falls. The Bio Falls starts our stream. On this project, we have about 3,200 to 3,500 gallons of water in this system. This Bio Falls is actually um, rated for or spec for uh, 6,000 gallons. So we've got plenty of filtration in this system. You'll notice on this, it starts our stream. Our main veering area is straight this way. We have it turned on about a 45 degree angle and we have it buried in the landscape. This hides it. Um, it makes it not so obvious. This is a giant filter, it's about two and a half feet tall, uh, two and a half feet across. Um, we've got filter mats in there, bio balls, and our pump runs through here to start a stream. So, a big piece of equipment. We like to hide it, and this is how we do that. Right here, we have the waterfall, dump it down, and then we have the skimmer right next to it. So, basically, you have mostly, you have circulation from the waterfall to the skimmer doesn't really work great for circulation on the whole pond, which is why we installed jets on this end of the pond. To push that across, come out with that water, pull over in the intake bay. So this right here, this area of the pond is the intake bay, uh, the skimmer. Um, basically, it is a replacement for your traditional um, skimmer that we put on the side of the pond. More natural looking, uh, it's just an upgrade. Works really good. Especially here, you can see we have all of these trees, and leaves, and the fall is going to collect a lot more leaves before it has to be serviced. But basically, everything pulls across the pond in this area. We have a pump down here to draw that water, and then that pump runs up to the waterfall through a biological filter up top. The pump actually is sitting right over here in the corner. The water comes through, gets drawn down through the gravel, which is going to act as a pre filter uh, to protect that pump from solids. And then the pump's sitting down about two feet below, underneath some aqua blocks uh, to make this thing work. So one of the key things about your pond construction is having uh, circulation. Uh, basically water in one side, pump on the other. That's a general rule. So at this pond, that's definitely a challenge for us. So here we have a problem that our, we have uh, a big dead spot over here, uh, just based on the design where we put the waterfall where the skimmer's at. So what we did to deal with that is we actually ran a pump down here and we have jets that just push the water back across the pond so now we don't have a dead spot in this area. So I actually have a jet right down here and right here and if I put my hand in front of it you can see the turbulence coming right up underneath my hand. There's a jet right here and it just pushes out right here. Another thing that does for us is we have this nice seating area. This is the perfect spot to feed your fish. Your fish love the current, so they'll come over this area. You can sit here, feed. There's not a huge circulation, but there's enough to deal with uh, the circulation we need for the pond. We've got an awesome fish cave on this pond. I think it scared the fish. Right down in here, there's an opening. The fish can swim through into that right there. And they actually come out on the other side of this stepping stone path. It gives us a, a hiding spot. If a predator shows up like a heron or a raccoon or you know, maybe just the neighborhood kids wants to throw rocks at them, it's got a place to hide. But this one right here, like right underneath the stepping stone path I'm on, they've got a cave down there. Usually we do that with a piece of culvert. Um, that way you can see it. So, so one of the coolest things about this pond, outside the pond, is this. This is their patio underneath the deck. They've got this, uh, this vine down here, awesome shade. And I'm actually sitting, I'm actually sitting and I have a, perfect view of the waterfall from this and I'm in the shade and it's almost like a enclosed room. The way the vine covers everything up, it just, it's sheltered. It's really, really cool uh, for me to sit right here. I love finding stuff like this around our ponds. Uh, I know our clients spend a ton of time underneath here, especially in the Iowa heat that they can still enjoy the pond and be in a sheltered area like this. All right, two year old pond, not quite two year old pond. Uh, they had a uh, more of a boring just liner with coping stone maintenance nightmare of a pond almost two years later they have this you can see the landscape re-establishing and making their own you can see the water quality if you like stuff like this uh first time seeing us hit that subscribe button if you got questions about this i kind of went over the pond how everything works 
because your bile falls, your intake bay, jets, all that good stuff. If you got questions on how we build things or how to add filtration to your pond, just leave a comment down there, I'll answer you. Have a great day, thanks for joining us. What's she looking at? What's she looking at?